crabby cup of coffee or in my case at the moment apple cider because I've already had a cup of coffee today and today we're going to talk about how to avoid homeschool burnout during the holidays. Hey everyone so the reason why I decided to go ahead and do this video today is I was looking ahead to January and I'm going to be doing a video on avoiding burnout during the winter months when you're at home a lot with your kids or some people are going to be traveling. Um, for those of you that are in the southern hemisphere, uh, you're just now starting summer and doing more summer traveling. But for those of us in the northern hemisphere, the colder months in January and February are so hard for homeschooling. And those of you who are traveling in the southern hemisphere for your summer, you can also get burnout during that time too because just like it's it's hard like you can experience burnout anytime you can experience burnout during a really good season of homeschooling but i'm going to be talking about it in january because for us in january in the northern hemisphere we are in our colder months uh less budget less travel m at home more and so i'm going to be doing that but I was thinking about it and I was kind of stepping back and I was like, you know, a lot of the burnout actually starts at the holidays because people just way overdo it at the holidays. And if they could avoid burnout, like during the holiday months, maybe they would make it, maybe it would make it easier to get started on those colder months of homeschooling that second semester in the Northern Hemisphere once the holidays are over. So I wanted to start with how to avoid burnout during the holidays. And these are just tips that... I have found for me personally but these are also tips of things that people have helped me with over the years um, and I highly encourage you to find somebody find somebody even if it's one person I if worst case scenario anything ever happened and like I didn't have anybody else I have like one person that I can go to if I'm just like struggling with homeschooling or struggling with my kids or struggling with me myself personally. So find that one person for you, even if it's just one part. If you have a group, great. But like find that one person to help you out that you can just go to and be like, it was the worst day ever of homeschooling. I'm going to quit. So because we all have those days, let's be honest, we all have those days. Um, find that one person. That's not even the tip for this. Just I found my one person and like she also share some of these similar tips as well when she's counseling homeschool parents because um, I found that a lot of homeschool parents with uh, kids in high school end up talking a lot with other people and I tell people like I consider myself an unofficial counselor because like I'm not licensed but I share my life experiences to help other people and one of my biggest passions is pointing people to the Lord and pointing people towards the right direction if they want to homeschool of how to homeschool their kids or if their kids are in public school um, of like tutoring resources and how to help their kids at home if because not everybody can homeschool and I'm okay with that and I understand that not everybody's there so like I just I want to my passion is helping moms with schooling with their kids and also helping people with like fostering and adoption because like we've been through that too but let's focus today on the homeschooling aspect and how we're going to avoid burnout or how we try to avoid burnout during the holidays so let's start with number one i'm going to mark these off as i go so i don't lose my place number one is self-care so for me that means that first thing in the morning um before the kids get up i have devotional time i have a bible study that i'm going through right now it's like a um it it points more like you start with a praise you start with a confession that's the hard one um, you start with Thanksgiving you write down one positive thing from that day if uh, so because I do mine in the morning I do a positive thing from the day before and then you do a uh, prayer request and that has helped so much to help me get through this season other things of self-care was like one night I we had been super busy that day it had been a really rough week not homeschooling just other stuff going on it had been a really rough week and we had had a super busy day helping out a family member because right now we're traveling a lot helping out family members and um and then, again thank you to all those who've been praying for my mother-in-law who had a heart attack and got a cancer diagnosis within two days of each other so it's it's been kind of rough because we've been like traveling because like one family member is like an hour away and, the other, and then the other one is half an hour in the opposite direction so it's been a lot and it was one of those days we'd been out of the house all day and it was rough so I just came home and took a nap got up took a shower 
and sat down in my room and read a book that I've been wanting to read for years that I just needed what was in that book in that moment. It was a book from a pastor about a specific topic that I was struggling with at the moment. And I just sat down and read that book for like two hours. And guess what? The house didn't fall apart. Matt was here to watch the kid or not watch. We're parent. We're both co-parenting. But Matt was here to be the parent in charge at that moment. Um, the kids had their switches. They had Christmas movies. They had Christmas crafts they could do. And I just took that time and just took that time to take care of myself because I needed to do that in that moment because it had been a rough week. We've been busy helping family members. I needed and then the next day was going to be helping family members, grocery shopping, being out of the house and like I just needed that moment and the words in that book were so encouraging and helped me through what I was going through in that moment. So like take that time to take care of yourself because I always go back to what they say about when you're flying. I've never been, I've never flown on a plane before. I hope to eventually do that one day. But um, they say that when you're, ever, uh, you're on an airplane and then you go to put the oxygen mask on, you have to put yours on first before you put on everybody else's. And I kind of fall back to that right now because it's like, if I don't take care of myself, I can't homeschool my kids. I can't keep up with the dishes. I can't. Uh, make sure my husband has food for his lunches. I can't go and help other family members. So I fall back to that right now of just like, number one, please take care of yourself. Even like, like for me right now, like I didn't do a second cup of coffee. I did cider because like, I don't need that much caffeine right now to get going right now. And if I drink too much caffeine, it actually, I have chronic health issues. Like it would actually like cause, and, and like yesterday I had a chronic health illness flare up and ended up um, we didn't do much yesterday and I took a nap yesterday and all the kids took a nap because they were tired too. So make sure you're taking care of yourself and prioritizing self-care because if you're not taking care of yourself, it's really hard for you to take care of anybody else. So yeah, that, that's my number one. And if that's all you get out of this and you stop right now and stop watching, go for it. Please don't stop watching though because the YouTube algorithm needs you all to stay and watch the rest of it. But if you don't have time and that's all you get out of it, I'm fine with that. Go and take care of yourself. We're good to go. We got this, sis. So, number two is change things up. If you haven't seen my other two videos on homeschooling through the holidays and then specifically homeschooling through Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, some Christian people don't celebrate Christmas. The church we came from, they didn't. So, like, don't feel like I'm pressuring you to home. I mean, like, I'm going to wear this because it's my favorite hoodie right now. And I actually also have peanuts uh sleep pants on because they're so soft and comfy and like they're too thick for me to sleep in but um uh, like i'm all about the peanuts and like the the gnomes and the and the and then my grandfather made this for me not long before he passed so it's one of my favorite christmas things but like don't feel like you have to stop at christmas and i don't want to like be that pushy on you i'm just saying there are things in that video that if you want to go back and watch the homeschooling through christmas and the homeschooling through the holidays of how to change things up even if you buy a box curriculum like a becca and we are not going to be bashing anybody who wants to do a becca here please don't i've seen enough of that on the internet right now don't do it if somebody really really wants to stay with the becca and is dead set with it and they're great with it and their family does great with it please don't bash them in the comment section um because i've seen a lot of that in person right now even if you use a box set of curriculum there are things we point out in that video that you could add to your curriculum or maybe take some time and step away from the box curriculum for at least a week, a couple days, whatever you need, and just change things up. Do something different. Don't feel like you have to be stuck in it. One of the reasons why we end up stepping away from like box curriculums or even why we stepped away from Monarch was these curriculums are designed for families who have to have their kids do 180 days of school. They're not designed with much flexibility in them because some of these parents are working from home now. And in the world we live in now, mom and dad are both working jobs and trying to homeschool kids because they feel like that's what's best for their kids. But sometimes they need their kids to do school while they're working. And that's what these curriculums are designed to do now. And that's okay for those families but there's some times that you need to say okay that works for them but that's not where i am in my season of life therefore i don't need 20 speed drills right now to get done before december i don't need this that and the other to do and it's okay to say hey right now the season i'm in 
I'm going to take a break from this. We're going to step away from this and we're going to focus on doing something else that's still school related. But yeah, go back to those two videos because like I'm looking at the list of the homeschooling through the holidays. And I think this is also the list I use for homeschooling through Christmas. Yeah, homeschooling through Christmas. And look at those for maybe some springboard ideas for you. Why did my computer just go to sleep? That's weird. Oh, my screensaver actually worked. My screensaver, like every five updates, my screensaver will actually work if I don't move my mouse enough. And it was that moment that it did that. That's crazy. I'm glad it does work now. I hope it stays this way. Um, number three that I try to tell people to do is when you're homeschooling, your entire life is wrapped together. So number three, do some easy meal plans to get you through the holidays. I know that like, I feel like in the homeschool community especially, there is a lot of pressure on homeschool moms to have like homemade healthy meals three times a day. Guess what sis, that's not realistic. I say sis, some of you are watching this and your dads, but um, most of the time I'm counseling moms because I'm a woman. But um, you don't have to have those made from scratch homemade meals three times a day. Guess what? There are some days that we are so busy, we wake up late, we, we sleep in the next day, we wake up late, my kids don't want lunch. You know what they have? They have popcorn and they have fruit cups. So easy meal plans, just some quick things on here. We do have members only posts that we do each week where we write down breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and snack for our family of six for an entire week. And it's like 99 cents a month and above and you get those every single week. So you at least every month you're going to get four meal plans for like how we do that but just like some uh spoiler ideas here easy meal plans like i said sometimes for lunches we'll do like popcorn i try to lean towards the healthier size of popcorn there's some that i'll get with like extra butter but i also have one that's lactose free so sometimes i'll get some with no butter on them and then i will buy fruit cups to go with them and i buy like fruit cups that are they are 100% fruit and 100% fruit juice. I don't get the ones that have the jello. I don't get the ones that have the uh, corn syrup. I get the fruit cup and you can get it. I buy them at Sam's because family is six. I shop at Sam's for most for a lot, a lot of our groceries. Um, but I buy those and then they can have those whenever they want. Other things that I do is I try to keep cuties in stock that way or orange juice either way. Like I, I try to alternate that way. They are constantly getting vitamin C. Um, there's a video by a doctor. He's really pushy about like intermittent fasting and keto. So be cautious of that. But his name's Dr. Berg. And he has a great video on that we watched um, recently on uh, there's a tie between depression and lack of vitamin D. And depression can lead to burnout. So like I try to make the kids drink one cup of milk at least every other day. They don't drink milk like every single day because we do dairy in our food. And then I try to get like vitamin D enriched dairy alternatives for my lactose free one um but i'll sometimes be like you get you're gonna eat a handful of almonds with a cup of milk um things like that or like if we buy like four boxes of mac and cheese for an easy dinner add some bacon crumbles from sam's club because i actually found those bacon crumbles have less grease than like if we actually cook bacon so that way we're having bacon less grease and you don't have the cleanup in the kitchen so like we'll do like mac and cheese with bacon and then we'll do a steamed vegetable with it usually broccoli is our fallback because we can get it at aldi and it's just the broccoli florets. It's not like the stemmy pieces for like a dollar a bag. And then sometimes we'll do one bag. Sometimes we'll need two. So like find easy ways to still do the healthy food. But don't feel like you have to do the made from scratch every single day. Also instant oatmeal. Instant oatmeal is my biggest fallback right now. Number four is have backup school ideas. Again this kind of goes back to the other video of list of things that we do on, during the holidays that are completely different. But just for some filler ideas for now, for here, some of this may be repeat if you have went ahead and went back to those videos and watched them or if you already have watched those videos. But, um, so like ideas that we use is have like worksheets already printed out before the holidays. If you don't have access to a printer, look up some nature documentaries that you can watch. Uh, we did find out that Amazon Prime has some. We watched through one of them yesterday. It was great. It does have a couple of, 
uh, scenes of how animals reproduce. So keep that in mind. Like we do like nature documentaries or we'll find like history based films to watch. I go a lot into that in the other two videos, but have backup ideas in the back of your mind of things that you can do and fall back on if you don't have time to like get out and teach stuff, get this, all the school stuff out and teach it on a super busy day. Number five for me is take cleaning days. It is 100% okay to count one cleaning day a week as you're homeschooling. There's still so many life skills that your kids are learning from a cleaning day. They're learning how to take orders from someone because guess what? When they become adults in the workforce, they're going to have to learn how to do that. Most people are more willing to hire homeschool kids nowadays because of their work ethics. Um, you're also doing listening skills. Other things that we do sometimes is we'll put on like an audio book and they'll have to put their laundry away or sort their laundry or clean their room while an audio book is playing and they're listening to an audio book. This time of year, of course, my favorite is the Christmas Carol. Um, some other ones we do is like the American Girl books. Uh, Chronicles of Narnia is my absolute favorite. The uh, Focus on the Family dramatized Chronicles of Narnia is my absolute favorite favorite audiobook ever hands down absolute favorite so if you can find that one it's go for it it's great i don't know if they actually if focus on the family put it on youtube or not but uh, my library had it for years so we would borrow it constantly and listen to it i don't know if we have a copy of it right now because it's also like 90 dollars, but it's so worth it i love listening to it but like find an audiobook um black beauty is another fun one i'm trying to think of some of the other ones the kids love um oh youtube has a free version of a little princess on there um so you could watch that one um, and it's, it, that one's more like based on the book than some of the other ones that I've seen. So those are my five tips on avoiding burnout during the holiday season. Sometimes for some people, it's a rough time of year. Sometimes it's a little bit harder for some people because like, it's a reminder of hard things that have happened through the year. We had, there were points we had some rough times during this year, so I totally get it. But for some people, the holidays are harder. Let's just try to not make it harder on ourselves and just work together and get this done so like if you have any comments questions anything let me know in the comment section below always feel free to reach out to me on uh facebook messenger and um i can always answer like private questions or like you can email me the emails in the description box below but thank you guys so much for watching thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos and thank you to every single one of you for liking watching positive comments and subscribing and we will see you next time